What's up guys? My name is Mad Squash 924 Welcome back to another episode of some Dragon Age Origins. I believe this is now part 6? Yes, part 6. If you guys watched the last episode, we've been exploring the Kokori Wilds as we were supposed to do that we were ordered by Duncan to do so. Um, and we are supposed to get these items and then go back to Duncan from there, I guess, and see what happens. We go up here too. Hmm. All things up here. Okay. Well, well. What have we here? Are you a vulture, I wonder? A scavenger, poking amidst a corpse whose bones were long since cleaned? Or merely an intruder, come into these dark spawn filled wilds of mine in search of easy prey? What say you, hmm? Scavenger or intruder? Hmm... Frankly, I am neither. Um, I was sent here on a mission by a Grey Warden, uh, because the Grey Wardens once owned this tower, if you must know. It is a tower no longer. The Wilds have obviously claimed this desiccated corpse. I have watched your progress for some time. Where do they go, I wondered. Why are they here? And now you disturb ashes none have touched for so long. Why is that? Don't answer her. She looks chastened, and that means others may be nearby. Oh, you fear barbarians will swoop down upon you. Yes, swooping is bad. She's a witch of the wilds, she is. She'll turn us into toads. Witch of the wilds. Such idle fancies, those legends. Have you no minds of your own? You there, handsome lad. Tell me your name and I shall tell you mine. Let us be civilized. <laughs> My name is Squashy Maru, and it's a pleasure to meet you, witch. Now that is a proper civil greeting, even here in the wilds. You may call me Morrigan. Shall I guess your purpose? You sought something in that chest? Something that is here no longer? Here no longer? You stole them, didn't you? You're some kind of sneaky witch thief. How very eloquent. How does one steal from dead men? Quite easily, it seems. Those documents are Grey Warden property, and I suggest you return them. I will not, for it was not I who removed them. Invoke a name that means nothing here any longer if you wish. I am not threatened. Well, then, I suppose you must know who removed the item from the box. Was my mother, in fact. Ah. Well, then. Where is your mother? Yes, my mother. Did you assume I spawned from a log? A thieving, weird talking log, perhaps? Not all <laughs> in the wilds are monsters. Flowers grow as well as toads. If you wish, I will take you to my mother. Tis not far from here, and you may ask her for your papers, if you like. We should get those treaties, but I dislike this Morrigan's sudden appearance. It's too convenient. Tell me, Morgan, why are you interested in helping us? You don't seem like you're the helping sort. Why not? I do not meet many people here. Are you all so mistrustful? No, I just... There's just a lot of dark spawn here, and it's a little... It's a lot to take in, frankly. And, uh... Well... I haven't seen a live person here, so you're the first I've seen, but... Well... We could go and see your mother. We do need the papers, we need the treaties. Since we were sent for She'll them. She'll put us all in the pot, she will. Just you watch. If the pot's warmer than this forest, it'll be a nice change. Follow me then, if it pleases you.
Greetings, Mother. I bring before you four Grey Wardens who... I see them, girl. Hmm. Much as I expected. Are we supposed to believe you were expecting us? You are required to do nothing, least of all believe. Shut one's eyes tight or open one's arms wide. Either way, one's a fool. She's a witch, I tell you. We shouldn't be talking to her. Quiet, Darrett. If she's really a witch, do you want to make her mad? There is a smart lad. Sadly irrelevant to the larger scheme of things, but it is not I who decides. Believe what you will. And what of you? Do you possess a different viewpoint? Or do you believe as the others do? <laughs> well, frankly, I believe you have something that I acquire, and you and your daughter are witches, such as I am a wizard. It doesn't mean anything more or less to me, frankly. But you may possess knowledge I may desire. I did not come to listen to your wild tales, Mother. True. They came for their treaties, yes? And before you begin barking, your precious seal wore off long ago. I have protected these. You... Oh, you protected them. And why not? Take them to your Grey Wardens and tell them this Blight's threat is greater than they realize. Can you tell me why the threat is greater than they realize? I didn't realize the blight would be so bad. Either the threat is more, or they realize less. Or perhaps the threat is nothing. <laughs> or perhaps they realize nothing. <laughs> right. Oh, do not mind me. <laughs> you have what you came for. Time for you to go, then. Do not be ridiculous, girl. These are your guests. Oh, very well. I will show you out of the woods. Follow me. <laughs> what a nice bunch. Okay, so we got the things we acquire. We can go and talk to Duncan as well as the kennel master. The Mabari stable for now, but not improving. Unless I get that herb I told you about, there's not much hope. Um, this is the flower you're looking for, Let me yes? See. Yeah, that's exactly it. Wonderful. Yeah, give me a moment and I'll make this into an ointment. <laughs> he looks better already. I'm sure he'd thank you himself if he could. And what would happen to him now? Let's give him a day or two to recover. Why not come back after the battle? Perhaps we can see about imprinting him on you. That would be amazing, actually. I would love that. Maybe. It's likely he understands you're responsible for curing him. Mabari are at least as smart as your average tax collector. Come back after the battle and just... Or take another look. Alright. Nice, we got that quest completed. So we can talk to him afterwards, after the fight. So you returned from the wilds. Have you been successful? We have, actually, Good. yes. I've had the Circle Mages preparing. With the blood you've retrieved, we can begin the joining immediately. All right, so. Do you know what you... Tell me what you know about Morgan and her mother. Who was the one that had the There treaties. was a woman at the tower, and her mother had the scrolls. They were both very... odd. Were they wilder folk? I don't think so. They might be apostates. Mages hiding from the Chantry. I know you were once a Templar, Alistair, but Chantry business is not ours. We have the scrolls. Let us focus on the joining. Well then, tell me what this ritual is about then. I would like to know before doing it so I don't mess up. I will not lie. We Grey Wardens pay a heavy price to become what we are. Fate may decree that you pay your price now rather than later. I don't understand. What's the problem? I agree. Let's have it done. Then let us begin. Alistair, take them to the old temple. Hm. I guess I don't get my question answered. The more I hear about That's this fine. joining, the less I like it. Are you blubbering again? Why all these damn tests? Have I not earned my place? Maybe it's tradition. 
Maybe they're just trying to annoy you. Frankly, I don't want to listen to you bicker amongst each other. I, I really don't give a shit, okay? I, I just want to get it done, get it over with. And frankly, it gives me a headache just listening to you both. Yeah, man. I only know that my wife is in Hyover with a child on the way. If they had warned me, I... It just doesn't seem fair. Would you have come if they'd warned you? Maybe that's why they don't. The Wardens do what they must, right? Including sacrificing us? I'd sacrifice a lot more if I knew it would end the Blight. As I said, would you both, would you both just remain quiet and shut your traps? Yes, yeah, Sir Knight. Try not to wet your trousers until the ritual starts. I've just never faced a foe I could not engage with my blade. At last, we come to the joining. The Grey Wardens were founded during the First Blight, when humanity stood on the verge of annihilation. So it was that the first Grey Wardens drank of Darkspawn blood and mastered their taint. We're going to drink the blood of those... those creatures? As the first Grey Wardens did before us, as we did before you. This is the source of our power and our victory. Those who survive the joining become immune to the taint. We can sense it in the Darkspawn and use it to slay the Archdemon. Well then, what are the odds of those surviving? Not all who drink the blood will survive, and those who do are forever changed. This is why the joining is a secret. It is the price we pay. We speak only a few words prior to the joining, but these words have been said since the first. Alistair, if you would. Join us, brothers and sisters. Join us in the shadows where we stand vigilant. Join us as we carry the duty that cannot be forsworn. And should you perish, know that your sacrifice will not be forgotten. And that one day, we shall join you. Davith, step forward. a wife, a child. Had I known... There is no turning back. No. You ask too much. Th there is no glory in this. I am sorry. But the joining is not yet complete. You are called upon to submit yourself to the taint for the greater good. From this moment forth, you are a Grey Warden. Two more deaths. In my joining, only one of us died, but it was horrible. I'm glad at least one of you made it through. How do you feel? <laughs> Admittingly, I would say that was definitely more painful than the harrowing. Such is what it takes to be a Grey Warden. Did you have dreams? I had terrible dreams after my joining. Such dreams come when you begin to sense the dark spawn, as we all do. That and many other things can be explained in the months to come. Before I forget, there is one last part to your joining. We take some of that blood and put it in a pendant. 
Something to remind us of those who didn't make it this far. Take some time. When you're ready, I'd like you to accompany me to a meeting with the king. All right, well, I suppose uh, we should get to it then, shall we? The meeting is to the west, down the stairs. Please attend as soon as you're able. All right. Oh, and we leveled from that. So Jory and Davith are dead. Davith died via the Darkspawn blood, and Jory to Duncan's blade. Let's level up our magic. And... Can we upgrade our willpower by one? Eh, let's keep doing magic. Let's see. What can we acquire? We could get the Tempest. Cast unleashes a fierce lightning storm that deals constant electricity damage to anyone in the target. And friendly fire is possible. It sounds pretty good. Oh, we get also a second point as well. Oh yeah, we have Arcane Shield. I forgot about that. Right. Um, do we want some of these other things? Cone of Cold would be nice. Earthquake would be nice. Fireball would also be nice, but we'd have to get some of these other primal things. Is there one that can bring someone back from the dead? It probably is, right? I imagine. Hmm. Maybe not. I'm not sure. We could do like some weird summoning stuff. Like wisps. Eh. The thing is, I don't really want to get, get frost weapons or flame weapons. But I do want these later ones. Eh, we'll get frost weapons. Just to keep getting more, you know? Um, do, do, do. um, instead, I want that to be anybody, actually. And, yep, I want you to do that. Yeah, I want you to do that as well. That's fine. You wish to save this tech? Yes. Instead of healing myself, he can heal others. And then we got a pendant. Hmm. Here we go. The Warden's Oath. Plus two to con. That's pretty good, actually. I think I'll... I think I'll wear that. And then we have this Iron Ring, which does literally nothing. Dunk that. Okay. Looks good. Should we sell some stuff? Before we go to the meeting? I think that's prudent. I think we should do that. Hello again. Is there something you... Um, I also have some uh, goods on the side oh. I can provide. Yeah, other goods. So long yeah. Hell yeah. What do you got for other goods, dude? Enchanter staff. Holy shit. That thing's crazy. has all these buffs, but uh, the actual damage is 0. 0.3 worse, but is 0. 0.3 really, really gonna matter? <laughs> Not really. Uh, what else you got? A rock salve? What the hell is that? Increases the user's armor and physical resistance, but decreases movement speed and attack speed. Huh. Recipes. Okay. Let's see, what do we not need? We don't need... This is 4.4. .4. That's just four. I'll get rid of one of these, both of them. Uh, 11 damage compared to 10. We'll sell this. We gotta sell the stuff that's worse. Because I imagine we're gonna get some people a little bit later on. So I don't want to, like... That's equipped by me. Um, Because I don't outright want to get rid of, like, literally everything. Because we will definitely get more party members, you know? I should actually equip that. That one's a little bit better.
Leather boots. Go to the leather boots. We might need some of these, some of this gear. It's a really crappy part. Don't think we need that. Um, sell all our junk. Ah, do we need any of this stuff? It's it's required for some of the ocean making. Do we want acid flask for anything? Maybe. Maybe it'll be helpful. The thing is, I don't see me using them. So we can get rid of them. Um, get rid of the malachite, the garnet, the wolf pelts. I think that's fine. Is there anything in here I want from him? Not particularly. Okay. Towards this meeting? It's over here? Okay. Logain, my decision is final. I will stand by the Grey Wardens in this assault. You risk too much, Kaelin. The Darkspawn Horde is too dangerous for you to be playing hero on the front lines. If that's the case, perhaps we should wait for the Orlesian forces to join us after all. I must repeat my protest to your full notion that we need the Orlesians to defend ourselves. It is not a full notion. Our arguments with the Orlesians are a thing of the past, and you will remember who is king. How fortunate Marik did not live to see his son ready to hand Ferelden over to those who enslaved us for a century. Then our current forces will have to suffice, won't they? Duncan, are your men ready for battle? They are, Your Majesty. And this is the recruit I met earlier on the road? I understand congratulations are in order. Thank you, Your Majesty. Every Grey Warden is needed now. You should be honored to join their ranks. Your fascination with glory and legends will be your undoing, Kaelin. We must attend to reality. Fine. Speak your strategy. The Grey Wardens and I draw the Darkspawn into charging our lines, and then? You will alert the tower to light the beacon, signaling my men to charge from To cover. flank the Darkspawn, I remember. This is the Tower of Ishal in the ruins, yes? Well, who shall light this beacon? I have a few men stationed there. It's not a dangerous task, but it is vital. Then we should send our best. Send Alistair and the new Grey Warden to make sure it's done. You're saying I won't be fighting in the battle at We front. need the beacon. Without it, Loghain's men won't know when to charge. You see? Glory for everyone. You rely on these Grey Wardens too much. Is that truly wise? Enough of your conspiracy theories, Loghain. Grey Wardens battle the Blight no matter where they're from. Your Majesty, you should consider the possibility of the Arch Demon appearing. There have been no signs of any dragons in the wilds. Isn't that what your men are here for, Duncan? I... Yes, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, the tower and its beacon are unnecessary. The we circle will of not Major... trust any lives to your spells, Mage. Save them for the Darkspawn. Enough! This plan will suffice. The Grey Wardens will light the beacon. Thank you, Loghain. I cannot wait for that glorious moment. The Grey Wardens battle beside the King of Ferelden to stem the tide of evil. Yes, Kaelin. A glorious moment for us all. You heard the plan. You and Alistair will go to the Tower of Ishal and ensure the beacon is lit. What? I won't be in the battle. This is by the King's personal request, Alistair. If the beacon is not lit, Tern Loghain's men won't know when to charge. So he needs two Grey Wardens standing up there holding the torch, just in case, right? And where is the Tower of Ishal located? The tower is on the other side of the gorge from the King's camp the way we came when we arrived. You'll need to cross the gorge and head through the gate and up to the tower entrance. From the top, you'll overlook the entire valley. And when exactly would one like the beacon? We will signal you when the time is right. Alistair will know what to look for. Right. And then I imagine we join the battle afterwards once the beacon is alert. Stay with the Terran's men and guard the tower. 
If you are needed, we will send word. All right. How much time do we have before they arrive? The battle is about to begin. Once I leave, move quickly. You'll have less than an hour. Well then, let's get to and it I then. I must join the others. From here, you two are on your own. Remember, you are both Grey Wardens. I expect you to be worthy of that title. Duncan. May the Maker watch over you. May he watch over us all. Okay. Alistair also has a level, I see. Let's see. What do we want to level him up with? What exactly do you use? You use strength. You use some other things as well. Um, the strength based, strength based. Okay. Also strength based. Okay, so you're gonna use strength and con. Probably should get this to an even number. <laughs> we should get this con to an even number also, but let's level up uh, strength two times. Um, let's see. Threatened warrior adopts a challenging posture that increases the enemy hostility with each melee attack, drawing them away from other allies while this mode is active. Precise striking, which requires some dexterous prowess. Templar. Okay. What is what he got for a weapon and shield? Because he technically needs those. Because that's what he's using. Strength, strength. Dex, dex. Okay, so he will require some dexterous actions to get some of these other things as well. So at least 26 dex. Okay. Shield defense. While this mode is active, the character drops into a defensive stance that favors the shield, gaining a bonus to defense and an increased chance to shrug off missile attacks but taking a penalty to attack. With the shield balance, the attack penalty is reduced with the shield expertise. The uh, defense bonus is increased with the shield mastery bonus increases further. And that is a sustainable ability. I would like to get shield balance since that is a passive. Shield wall, shield expertise is another passive. Okay. So yeah, let's get shield defense, I suppose. And that should do him for now. We have better gear for him. Um, no. For now, no, anyways. Am I using that? Hold up. No, let's junk that. What's he got for stuff? Oh yeah, we can wear something better for ourselves. We can wear that instead. Instead of these ones. These ones are worse. In fact, we're gonna junk them. That they're, that's because they're so bad. Um, 90, 90. 1, 1.2. That's literally the same thing. That's worse. And that's literally the same. That's not bad. I think that'll do him. Okay. Let's uh, save. And I think this is a good spot for us to end today's episode of Dragon Age Origins. Hope you guys all enjoyed today's episode. If you guys have, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment. Tell me what you guys think of today's episode. If you're new to my channel or have been watching me for a little while and you haven't done so as of yet, feel free to subscribe to me, Mad Squash 924 and don't forget to ring the bell to get notified of my latest videos. On our next episode, the Battle of Ostagar is going to begin, and we are going to have the beacon alit for Logan's men. Goodbye, everybody.